this is like the easiest beginner friendly um hack that you can possibly find on the internet i don't think anyone has done anything like this yet so i'm giving you guys the best <laughs> So hey loves and welcome back to my channel guys. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys two ways on how you can hang your backdrops without using a backdrop stand. And guys, this is amazing and it's perfect if you're someone who is just getting started with creating content. Maybe you have a small space or a small room to work with and maybe you don't just want to splurge on a backdrop stand. This is definitely a video to watch. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my tricks and showing you guys how I hang my backdrops on my wall without a backdrop stand and just to be clear I do have a backdrop stand it is so bulky it is quite I, I won't say it's quite difficult but um, it's, it's, it takes a lot of time to set up and remove and uninstall and it's just a lot of things it takes up a lot of space if you are working in a small room you want to limit anything that would make your filming room uncomfortable or kind of bulky so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I hang my backdrop literally on my wall <laughs> So let's get started all right so to get started with um i just want to say that um my walls are made of concrete i'm based in nigeria i don't know where you're based and um if you're based in the us i think you guys us uk you have like the like a wooden wall so you can definitely use those tack pins to hang your backdrops that's definitely one easy budget friendly way to go about it but i do have concrete i can't really pin anything on the concrete because it's so hard so something that i use are um wall hooks this is what they look like i'm going to leave a couple of links down in the description a box but this is what they look like um usually this one is like an old one i'm just showing you guys what it looks like but it usually comes in a pack of maybe 6 12 depending on where you get it from you can get it from amazon maybe aliexpress um your local supermarkets i got this one from miniso here in lagos and what this is is basically like an adhesive hook so what you can do is literally just take off the paper and literally just paste it on the wall hold it for a couple of seconds and let it adhere to the wall and after that it's literally like really hard to remove you have to like yank it off and it's just the best option for me usually i have four on my one i don't know if you guys can see it right here i have one over there right here this is the hook right here i have another one over here another one on the bottom left and the other one on the bottom right so I have two at the top and two at the bottom and that way it stretches out my fabric I'm gonna be showing you guys what fabrics I use and also my recommendations in terms of like material as well as size so it's quite heavy <laughs> There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Basically all the fabrics that I use and that I have, I usually get them in one and a half yards, two yards. I get them in two yards most especially to be very safe. So if you're kind of confused, okay, wow. So if you're trying to figure out what length to get, um, to play safe, get between one and a half and two yards, depending on the size that you are working with. So after hanging up your hooks, I want to also see that you should try as much as possible to measure the length and the width so you guys have like a precise um, measurement and placement so that it's easy for you to apply your backdrops. But the way I do it is that I make like a really tiny hole just on the edges of my back drop material can you see how tiny that hole looks it's almost invisible and that's because i'm stretching it out so you guys can see i make like a really tiny hole on the edges and then i literally just hang it in the hook let me show you guys so we just hook it there it's that easy and come over here then hook it here as well okay and then connect it to the bottom part because again like i said there we go the material that i usually use or that i'm using right now is what we call the crepe material and this is amazing if you're trying to get like a budget friendly seamless material because it is stretchy so even if it is um let me show you guys because it is stretchy it is easy to manage easy to store and easy to work with 
if it is rumpled like this one is right now it wouldn't show because you would have to stretch it out and that way you're kind of eliminating the creasing and all the creases so this is what it looks like now that i've kind of fixed my backdrop i'm literally not taking up any space this is literally on my wall and you can hang more than one backdrop i'm going to show you guys what i do most times it's going i just basically have all of the backdrops I want to work with. I could just hang the green one here and orange one right here as well. We need to hang it. Let's hang. I'm good. So yeah, so that way we can just keep changing the backdrops depending on what we want. Be careful not to add too much of that way. It doesn't weigh the hooks down. Okay, so there we go. If you're filming in a room and you don't have enough space, that's fine. I'm here to teach you on like ways to maximize your space. Um, you can literally just hang your backdrop um, fabrics there. And when you want to film or when you want to change the background backdrop, it's easy. It's fixed on the wall again. You don't have to uninstall the backdrop stand and put it back, guys. This thing is so frustrating. This is innovation and it's amazing so if i want to change it to let's say this kind of creamy beigey color i just all i have to do is literally connect it to this spot hook it up if i want to work with the green one super easy i just come over here hang it over here come over here hang it down and hang it down and we can have like a a different backdrop entirely this is like the easiest beginner friendly um hack that you can possibly find on the internet i don't think anyone has done anything like this yet so i'm giving you guys the best advice so definitely give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video up until now feel free to subscribe i do come up with videos like this that will help you in terms of creating amazing content and kind of growing your brand and influence online so this is definitely one way to go about it and the hooks <laughs> Are so inexpensive you can get them for like maybe a dollar two dollars three dollars in Nigeria I think I got this one for 900 now 990 on there about from mini so um, you can get it from Aliexpress so expensive the fabrics are even like cheaper so the fabrics cost me like three dollars 1k they're about depending, depending on where you're getting them from so I usually get two yards just to be on the safe side or one and a half yard minimum so yeah this is what we have if i'm tired and i need to take it out this is all i need to do just fold it back and maybe if i need to take this one out one two three four we're done <laughs> see how easy that was amazing right okay so um next up i'm going to be showing you another way that you can hang your backdrop and this is something that you might already have installed in your living room your bedroom probably your working space i'm going to be showing you another trick that you can apply in order to get like a seamless background again remember no one needs to know what's happening in front of you again you're creating a set so do what you can to make sure that you get what you want in another way you understand you don't have to break the bank to get a good set if i'm making sense <laughs> so stick with me and i'm going to be sharing with you all of my tricks and hacks to make your content a lot better so let's move on to my other hack let's go hey guys so another way that you can go about with hanging your backdrop especially if you're working with like a small space or if you have a window behind you and you're kind of confused on how to make that work if you have a cutting reel this right here is an amazing hack and i'm going to be showing you guys how i do that now the good thing about this um backdrop is it came it came like in a form of a cutting because they already made that hole to kind of put the the pipe or the rack into it so i'm just going to be showing you how to do that if you don't have this installed in your fabric it is okay you can hand sew it you can machine sew it or you can just turn it over and use like a peg to hold it while you're doing this quickly um just take you can actually install this in your filming room so that way it wouldn't take up space in like such this thing is it's in just like i'm putting my cutting right and then oopsie hang it behind me 
Again, it's an amazing alternative. It doesn't take up space. It's literally on the wall. No need for tripod stands and all of that. And get it as straight as I want it to be. So this is what we're working with now that we just converted our cotton reel to our backdrop hanger or backdrop stand. Um, this is what we have right now. Like I always say, use what you have and make it work for you. So this is what I have currently now um, because of it's a bit bright outside and the sequin fabric is so thin, you guys can pretty much see the lights come through. Um, if you want to eliminate that light, you can use a black fabric behind this so that way you can just try to do that. You guys know I'm going to do that. I'll do that for you. Guys, all we did is just to use like a black um, fabric to just cancel out that light. Again, black cancels the lights. White bounces the light again. So you want to cancel that light, just use black. So this is definitely one way to go and I feel like it's very good for someone who is beginning out. Very inexpensive. Probably you have to spend like maybe 1000 hours to start filming like this and you're good to go. Use your phone and you're amazing. I'm using my phone by the way. That camera that you're seeing right here, the one you're watching is my phone and yeah just do what you can to make it work. This is how we just made it work using cutting rails. I'm in. So this was amazing. This was awesome. I love sharing my tips and tricks with you guys because I feel like I'm doing something no one else is doing that makes sense and I'm doing it in the sense that I'm trying to get you to start creating content irrespective of what you have or what you don't have. The essence is to just make it work again so yeah um, i hope this was helpful if you enjoyed this video definitely give me a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing right now then subscribe to my channel because i do come out with a lot of content like this to help you start off with creating content amazing content quality content and if you enjoyed this video then you definitely love my other videos definitely click on this videos right here and i'm going to be showing you guys how to create amazing backgrounds on a budget my filming setup how to create your own filming setup and basically how to set your cameras and all of that I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get started with creating amazing video content. Again, subscribe. It is free. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. So yeah.